Greetings presentation parishioners, blessings on this cold Friday. I hope you've been staying warm, managing the weather, a little snow, a little ice, a little cold, but it's winter. So hopefully uh, though your New Year's off to a good start and you're enjoying some of this uh, beautiful winter weather. Also in the church, this is winter ordinary time. So we've finished the Christmas season earlier in the week and now we're in this period of ordinary time. We kind of refer to as winter ordinary time. It's a short period this year because Lent begins early on February 14th on Valentine's Day. But in ordinary time, we don't focus specifically on one aspect of Jesus' life or ministry, but the wholeness of his mission. So it reminds us too of our call. We hear a lot about the call of those first disciples and how all of us are invited to share in that call by the ways that we live out our baptism and follow the way of Jesus. So enjoy this period of winter ordinary time as we get ready and gear up for Lent that's coming uh, soon. Also, we know it's a big weekend here in Kansas City. The Chiefs are in the playoffs again Saturday night, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. I know a lot of people are watching. If you're going, stay warm. It's going to be really cold out there, but uh, stay bundled up and enjoy. But uh, let's uh, hope that they continue on this uh, winning streak and continue into the playoffs. Also, a few things you can do in regards to your faith. Uh, next week, early next week, you can be part of the nine days for Life Novena. So there's information on our website about how you can be a part of that. It's just a daily way you can pray for the gift of life and the protection of life. It's connected with the Roe v. Wade decision, which was overturned a couple of years ago, but we still wanna be those people who are proponents for the gift of life. So that's a great way to be a part of that and say prayers each day as part of that novena for life. Also, we know that Monday is the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. So many people are off that day, our schools are closed, but it's also an important time for us to remember that we still have work to do in regards to uh, racial discrimination, the ways that we separate ourselves from one another, the ways that we should look out for the rights of all people. So let's pray that in our country especially, we can end all the division and hate and recognize that everyone is a child of God and really build that up by the ways that we fight for justice and the, the goodness uh, of all human life. Also, there's a few opportunities for faith formation coming up this month. So the Gospel of John, looking at the Bread of Life discourse, that's coming up in January on three Mondays. And then also the book that we handed out at Christmas, The Rocking Chair Prophet. There's a couple of opportunities to come and be part of a discussion group to reflect on that book. So I encourage you to look at that in the bulletin on our website and be part of those. In these winter months, especially when it's a little colder, those are great ways to deepen your faith and grow, uh, grow closer to Christ. Uh, but join with others and be a part of that community of faith. So let's make this a, a great weekend. Let's uh, come out and go to church, even in the cold. Let's recognize the ways that we're called to live our faith. And as we hear about the call of the first disciples, let's remember that that's our call too, to go forth and share that love of Jesus with others. God bless you. Amen. Have a great weekend.